Welcome to Explore RC. Today we'll be exploring a forgotten piece of Texas history that's been forsaken, forgotten, and frozen in time. Come with me as I explore the abandoned structures of the New Gulf Sulphur Plant, a crumbling relic from a bygone era. It all started in 1909, when the Gulf Sulphur Company was formed by a group of investors from St. Louis and Texas. The company was formed to exploit the newly discovered sulphur deposit in the Big Hill Salt Dome near Matagorda, Texas. On July 16th of 1918, the company was renamed the Texas Gulf Sulphur Company. In 1927, the company started developing the sulfur deposit associated with the recently discovered Bowling Dome in Wharton County, Texas. The Bowling Dome is an immense geological formation that is rich in sulfur and other useful materials, and it is, even now, still considered one of the largest inland sulfur deposits in the world. Besides building this sulfur plant in 1928, the company also built an entire town for its employees and named it New Gulf, Texas. About 400 houses, with one, two, or three bedrooms, were constructed here and leased to the employees. The population of New Gulf peaked in 1940 at 1,586. The Texas Gulf Sulphur Company also extracted sulphur from sour gas, that is, natural gas containing hydrogen sulfide. Toxic and commercially unusable, this sour gas was usually burned by production companies. However, in 1941, Texas Gulf Sulphur and other companies, at the government's request, developed an experimental method to convert the hydrogen sulfide into free sulfur. The gas purification or desulfurization plant in New Gulf pioneered the first large-scale sulfur production from this source. By 1958, the company had produced more than 50 million tons of sulfur. However, the New Gulf sulfur plant began to decline in the late 1950s and early 1960s. Already by 1956, the sulfur industry was producing more sulfur than it sold. Foreign sulfur prices had dipped and Texas Gulf Sulfur had begun constructing several new plants elsewhere. All of this, combined with the 1957 United States recession, led to layoffs of New Gulf employees. Although the sulfur mine site continued to maintain a skeleton crew throughout the 1990s, today, the New Gulf Sulfur plant is all but abandoned, and its nearby former company town of New Gulf is now included in the long list of Texas ghost towns. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please consider liking, subscribing, and clicking on the notification bell. I hope to see you on my next adventure.